the journey to a faraway land to gain knowledge about social work and systems of care and support. From Washington, D.C., we're traveling to Cape Town, South Africa. Again. During the service learning project, one of the things that I found most interesting was the opportunity to interact with seniors. The toughest part about interacting with the seniors is that they had stories that really made you want to cry. Uh, they talked about apartheid and what it meant for them, what it meant to be uh, able to work uh, literally 20 miles away to get home as best you can and have to be off the streets by 4.30 p.m. And that curfew time meant that if you were guilty of not meeting it, you had to uh, basically worry about being fined and or dragged to the jail at which time they would beat you and then release you afterwards. Just to give you an indication, uh, the fine was approximately 40 U.S. dollars, which uh, at that time uh, took about three months of salary to be able to make up. So uh, it was a bad thing if you were caught. So most people ran whenever they saw a police cruiser nearby. It's a very interesting place, uh, Cape Town. It's right on the water. The most beautiful parts of Cape Town were uh, redistricted for only white people, and uh, the very nice parts of town are very beautiful. Uh, Lavender Hill was once a place that may have been nice before apartheid, but uh, during and after apartheid, uh, basically coloreds as well as blacks were relocated to the area. Uh, what that meant is basically it's an area where there's a tremendous amount of poverty. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, great places to live. Uh, I think uh, apartment communities we might call the projects uh, or places we call the hood or ghettos here in, in, in the United States. Uh, some parts are very clean and nice, but the general feel is that there's a lot of pain that's there. Uh, the parts of town that are farther away from the water and the nice ocean breezes are inhabited by, uh, by colored to by black folk. Uh, it is an area that is largely getting to be overcrowded and an issue related to drought has significantly affected the community. Uh, it is an issue that I think social justice will have to be uh, asked as to why they have the problems that they have. We have a reservoir that is supposed to provide water for the 5.5 million people that live in the Cape Flats area, all the way including Cape Town. And basically that, that, that reservoir is filled to approximately 13% of capacity. That means that people do not have enough water to bathe, and to drink, and to be able to uh, survive. That it was on my bucket list. My bucket list. I uh, recommend I that people recommend get a chance to see it and say, why do you want to go see a museum that was once a penal institution? Well, I believe it's important that you see the prison to understand that they put people in maximum security places who were viewed as political prisoners. At the same time, they put people that were convicted of crimes, like everything from murder to robbery, and those were in the medium security prison. So you had the maximum security prison for political prisoners, you had the medium security prison for criminals.
so it was an uh, amazing place to actually uh, we hosted at the last of the days before we left a, uh, a gala celebration with the dinner. So uh, we finished all those things. Uh, we had people who actually sang. Who knew that we had so many great singers in our midst uh, to our students? 24 students participated in a variety of songs. Uh, uh, Daniel Grimsley and company. Uh, we arrived tired, but filled with joy, filled with lots of experience and a tremendous amount of knowledge. We're grateful to Dean Sandra Crew and to all of the people that made it possible for us to make this trip to South Africa by uh, Dr. Kudor Snell, as I said, and uh, uh, Dr. Tamara Moss, as well as uh, the excellent work of uh, Miss uh, Barbara uh, Evans Kwamla. Uh, this was an opportunity of a lifetime, and I think many of the students will see it as such and will remember it for a long time.